We are cooking on our front porch this week mm. on Pole House oh, Black yeah. Pot Weekend mm. Getaways. On the lemon. menu, lemon bars. So stick around. I think they're done, hon. Well, we were going camping this well, weekend, weren't well, we? Chickened out. Yeah, we were going to go boondocking this weekend. I mean, we are, this is October the 1st. No, September 30th. No, is it? Close enough, yeah. Which, yeah, Saturday. It's Saturday. Yeah. It's, anyways, we are officially in fall, right? Oh, yeah. And... It's gonna be 91. And or, 90, or no, I think last I looked was 94 Ooh. for the heat, and then not much breeze at all. Boondocking, as you know, means no electricity. I don't do well when it's hot, do I? No. And we decided that we didn't want to do. It. We had a couple other things we wanted to do this weekend at around home, so we're just gonna do our. We're camping at home. Camping at home, and we're gonna do our main. Uh, we were going to do an afternoon snack recipe anyway today, <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and do that. That way it has a chance to cool. Yeah, it has to cool before we actually finish it and serve it, and that is a homemade lemon bar You cookies. like this, and oh, Leslie yeah. does Great too. Recipe. She likes lemons. Really good. So we're going to regroup. We're going to do this. He's going to do part, and I'm going to do part, and then he's going to bake the whole thing. So. All right, yep. Actually, it's baked twice, really, isn't it's, it? Yeah. You yeah. bake the half of it, and then you put the, the crust is baked, and then you put the filling in, and you just keep on baking. You don't mm -hmm. have to let any rest between. So, Anyhow, so we're yep. going to get to it. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, my first part is doing the crust. So I have two sticks of cold butter. <clears throat> and to that, we were gonna go camping, of course, so we did a pre-mix. And I just wrote on there, all we gotta add is two sticks of cold butter. And this is the crust that is only flour, a little bit of sugar, and a bit of salt. So, just add that. I kinda pre-mixed it in the bag, so it's already partially mixed up, so I can do it again. And then we're using this little pastry cutter. It works pretty good. And we're going to cut the cold butter into flour until it kind of makes it crumbly. Pretty simple for a crust, except for I'm making a mess, but that's all right. We need a bigger bowl. Well, we're trying to not dirty very many bowls at once. Mm. Be the first time we made a mess while we're trying to cook. With no, it. messy cooks make the best That's cooks. I've right. got a spatula so we can kind of stir it in a little bit around the edges. I take it off with a spatula off the. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Some of that on the sides off. Stir it. it. Doesn't have to be. It could be still a little bit crumbly because you have butter actually stays in clumps. That's why you want bakes. cold butter. That's right. That's the thing you need to, yeah, we right. need to stress is cold butter and real butter. Yeah, real butter works best. It's a lot better flavor. Kind of like using the real lemon zest as opposed to some imitation when we're doing these. You can get by with it sometime, but you've, once you do the original real butter and that, it just makes so much better flavor. I think we got caught up pretty good. Didn't have to be 100%. And kind of get that last little bit of stir because we're going to pat it down in the bottom of our foil line. No, we don't have, we're going to, instead of using foil today, we're, we're going to use parchment paper. paper. So, all right, this out of the way over here. And we're using this parchment paper, which is pretty handy. 
This round parchment paper that you can buy from the lodge is really nice. And since we're using parchment paper, we're not going to have to worry about, I don't think, any angel of thought, too. We're probably not going to need any spray because we got butter No, because that is paper. Yeah. And for though, it said uh, the recipe calls for us to actually uh, spray foil line. Ooh, that's warm. And if you were going to do it in a glass at home, you can do it in the glass. It would be a 9 by 13. Be fine. It's warm. And we're doing a 12 inch Dutch oven. Same square inches on the bottom surface area, which is what we want to go shoot for as, as 9 by 13. And then the spray is really handy. If you kind of spray your fingers, you don't, it's not a, it won't stick. So now we're just kind of patting it down. It doesn't have to be real tight because if it bakes, it's just kind of going to set. We want a nice level pad of crust. I think that's good. Doesn't take a whole lot. Now our briquette's still not quite ready. Not quite ready. So we'll, we'll lid come on. back. Yep. And a few minutes. Finish this. Finish the crust here uh, in yep. a few minutes. About five minutes. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, charcoal's ready. Get my tongs. Now, like I said a minute ago, we're doing a 12 inch Dutch oven. So, we do a 350 to 375 degree oven bake. And to do that, we're doing about 30 pieces. So, we're going to put 10 on the bottom, 20 on top, just like we normal if we're doing any baking. And we're on the bottom, we always do around the bottom outside edge, never any in the center. And then we'll get a hot spot in the center. In the center, we'll get burnt. We don't want to do that. Now, how long does this need to bake, dear? This one is actually a 20 minute bake time. So that gives you enough time to do the filling, which I'm going to do, yep, right? I'm going to do that right now. As soon as you get that yep, started. The bottom's done. Now, on top, we just do what we do a few uh, nice, pretty ones in the center. And the rest, we do a ring around the outside, kind of like a checkerboard, if you will, whatever you want to call it. Give us a nice ring on top. Okay, there we go. Spread them out so they got a nice even heat along the top. And that's it. All right, so I'm going to go back out behind the camera and we're just going to come in front we're of the camera. We're going to switch. And we'll Here. be right back. You take this. He's going to go out there. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to get a timer started so we All don't right. lose track of time. Because it's easy now, to do when we're doing this. You're going to have to move that camera back over here, honey. All right. All righty. It calls for six eggs. It doesn't say separate, so we're not going to do that. I'm cracking my eggs first. That way I can mix them up a little bit six large eggs. And that's all my eggs. Now I'm going to mix these up. See? To that, I'm going to add, we're doing a premix. See, he's put on there what it's for. He did, he forgot to put what needed to go in there, but that's all right. This has got sugar and flour and a little bit of salt, I do believe. Isn't that right, Wade? No, actually there's no salt, no su salt surprisingly. Yet? Well, we're using salted butter, so I don't know. So, but it didn't go off with any salt. I would say if you were using unsalted butter, you may want to put just a little bit of salt in there, I would, if it were me. Now, I want to incorporate all this well. Our bowl, we've probably almost overmastered our bowl. Well, there's plenty of room, but it doesn't leave a lot of room for actually stirring, does it? No, it doesn't. 
Okay. Now, to that I'm going to add the zest of five lemons. I showed you how we did that. And then, I'm going to squeeze five lemon juices in. Yeah, you gotta, like you just showed, you roll it on the table and it's supposed to kind of help get the... And then, like you say, what you do, you hold them upside down, maybe you hope you won't get any seeds. Yeah. Hold my hand over it. At least yeah, that's hold your what hand they show you. Oh strainer. yeah, look at that. Yep. We don't want Something seedy. Yeah. We don't want to be seedy in our dessert, do we? Nope. And it's not now, easy to squeeze. I'm not for easy. sure. We might have to do a look up if you don't have fresh lemons or you don't have that much. And you, uh, uh you know, bar, you know, I mean, uh, lemon juice out of a jar or something like that, then ah, we'd have to do it. the math. Like, I don't know how much is in each lemon, but. Well, babe, we're going to have to come back because I did a no-no. Okay. I got the lemon. I got at least one seed in here. Okay. It's been 10 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and rotate. And 10 more. And then we'll add the filling. As always, we rotate the Dutch oven one way and the lid. About a third of the turn in the opposite direction. Okay. Wade did a really nice thing for me. He helped me squeeze all them lemons. Look at them. We're, we're buying a squeezer. This is for the birds. So, since we did get seeds in there, yeah. We're going to strain the seeds out, maybe some of the pulp, too. Well, it didn't go through as fast as I thought it would. Okay, we're going to call that good. All right, we're going to mix the rest of this up. Oh, that ain't not going to do it very good. Get the whisk out of here. Okay. Uh-oh, I thought I saw a seed in here. No, I guess not. So, the filling is ready. Yes, I did. Uh-oh. I did see a seed in there. My eyes did not deceive me. I found a seed. Make sure I don't have any flour. Clumps and bumps. And that's ready to... We're going to cover it to keep the flies out of it and as soon as the crust is ready we're gonna put it all together be right back okay it's been 20 minutes now I'm gonna pull this lid off crust should be getting where it's starting to brown it doesn't have to be completely brown because we're gonna add the filling we're gonna still cook on cooking it and add the filling. One last stir. Now it's fairly thin, which is fine. We're going to pour that all over the top. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I made a mess. That's going to not be good. I need to get, Angel, can you get a paper towel? I'm going to see if I can get wiped up most of this. Now, this has to be fairly level, of course. This is a thin batter. Okay, thank you, hon. I'm not going to get it perfect, of course, but I'm going to try to get some of this. It's hot, of course. That's how it cooks. <laughs> That's what the kids always said. What they always Thanks told us. to you. One of these days we'll tell you about that. All right, that well, story. we might have a little bit stuck around that outside, but it won't hurt too much. 
good piece of Dutch oven won't hurt it. Now I'm going to put the lid back on. Now, what we need to do, and I hadn't done that yet, since we're still baking and that bottom has still got that crust going, I need to go ahead and rotate the Dutch oven again. And I'll do I should have probably done it first. So this, I'll do it carefully so we won't splash around too much. And then I'll go ahead. I thought I really need to lose need the lid because we had the lid off. Okay, so should be about 20 minute big time or at least until it sets. So we'll have to see hopefully in 20 minutes, but we'll go ahead and rotate it in 10 minutes since we're actually baking. So we'll be back. Well, and the heat we want to talk about, the GoPro shut itself off, yeah, didn't it's it? Yeah, that warm out here. We set it out in the sun and it shut itself off. So luckily we got to have, we can go ahead and shut things off and go back inside for yes. 10 minutes. So we'll be so. back. Okay, we cooked the crust 20 minutes, then we put the filling in and we cooked it another 20 minutes. And it says to cook it until it is set. So, check it, see if it's set. Oh, it looks like it. Looks set. We got a little crusty thing that fell in there. Look at that. And it's, we can kind of give it a little jiggle. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, set. it's set completely. Now, Beautiful. we could eat it like this, but. I think it'd be a little too hot, and this is better cold. Yeah, it's supposed to you're supposed to At least cool it room completely. Temperature. Yeah, cool it down to room temperature, and then put powdered sugar on top. So that's what we're gonna do. So we'll be back. We'll be back. And what's the last thing we gotta do, Angel? Powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. Yep. Classic. On the top of completely cooled. Homemade lemon bar cookies. All righty. My favorite time. Yep, tasting, tasting. time. I'm going to get me a piece. Wade already cut it. Maybe a piece oh, yeah. That'd be a nice corner piece. Nice yeah. Good. Oh, Look at that. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Lemony. Oh, that's hot on my feet. That real lemon zest is perfect for yeah, it. Yeah, it is. When you got the real lemony flavor. Ooh, nice and rich. the butter. Of course. Yeah. There's the tail. It's rich with the all the six oh, yeah. eggs in there, so. So. Well, well, we hope you yeah. liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. That's a like. Share us on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, we really appreciate you watching our channel. If you hasn't, haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for the notification. Um, I guess we're, we it. were going camping this whole weekend, but I think we're doing a couple of videos out here on our front yeah. porch. So we'll see you next week, and thank you for watching. All right, yep, we'll see you next week. Thanks again. Bye.